Giants fan, welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green, and we're about to get into a recap of the Monday Night Football Showdown between the Giants and the Chiefs, where they lost the game 20-17. to But first, like this video if you want someone fired. There were some absolute egregious game planning and game management plays by Joe Judge and Jason Garrett. You scored just 17 points against a Chiefs defense that is giving up 29 points per game. Just absolutely brutal. Smash that like button if you want someone fired and let's get into a recap right now I'm currently smiling right now because my job my bosses they say Marshall you need to smile more in these videos but guys I'm not smiling I'm pissed off I'm wearing a black because it is a funeral for Joe Judge and Jason Garrett it is time for the Giants to make a move but first let's break down this full recap of the Monday Night Football game where the Giants lost to the Kansas City Chiefs 20-17 to man there is a lot to unpack following a game like that I mean when you hold Patrick Mahomes to just 275 yards, one touchdown, and you force him to throw an interception, and you lose the football game, it is absolutely just brutal. It is pissing me off inside. I'm pissed off because this is a game that the New York Giants should have won, and I think they, I don't think, I know that they lost this game due to their head coach and their offensive coordinator. There were too many times that the Giants were calling timeouts because they weren't ready. They wasted five timeouts in today's game because they weren't prepared on offense on the offensive side of the ball, and they weren't prepared on the defensive side of the ball, leaving the Giants in the first half with a minute left in the half and no timeouts to score. And the same thing happened in the fourth quarter when you needed a game-tying drive or a go-ahead game-winning drive, and you had less then a minute to go and no timeouts. I put that blame on Joe Judge. I put that blame on Jason Garrett. I put it on this coaching staff. But what is your one word reaction to the game? There's a lot of things you could say. I mean, guys, this one was brutal. This, this is what the New York Giants do. They play with your heart just long enough for you to feel like they can pull out a win and then they disappoint you in the end. But get down in the comments right now and let me know. This is the pinned comment. So if you get an ad break, scroll on down. Get your one-word reaction in and scroll back up, and I will be giving you my one-word reaction. My one-word reaction to the game is losers. This team is full of losers, and it starts up top with jo uh, Jason Garrett, Dave Gettleman, Joe Judge, and John Mara. This team, its foundation is built on lo by losers, and it is run by a bunch of losers. There was too many times in this game where the Giants made losing coaches decisions time and time again fourth and three from the 47 yard line when you are coaching a two and five football team and you elect to punt these are the type of games where you're joe judge you need to push all of your chips into the middle of the table because you have absolutely nothing to lose if you lose this game and if you're gonna lose at least go down swinging and that's something that joe judge has not done since he has been the head coach of the new york giants they consistently play not to lose and the thing that pisses me off the most i'm not saying i'm the brightest guy out there but everything i believe in football philosophy and how to win games is the exact opposite on how this new york giants team is run it hurts, it sucks, and it sucks to be a Giants fan right now because every single Sunday and now Monday night and Thursday night, they disappoint us Giants fans. It, it sucks. If you're upset, subscribe because the Giants season, it's over. There, there's no denying that. But our coverage of New York Giants now is only going to ramp up even more, more than it has ever been. We just crossed over 2.5 thousand subs, and we are trying to get to 3,000 subs as soon as possible. The way things work around here at Chat Sports is the more subscribers you have, the more videos you get to do. And I want to do more videos, so help me out, because I know you want to watch more free New York Giants videos. And with the trade deadline tomorrow, if the Giants make a move, we will be breaking it down so you won't want to miss out on that. So go down and hit that big red button right now. Daniel Jones just leaves a lot to be desired in today's game. I mean, when you start the game and Patrick Mahomes drives all the way down your throat inside the 10-yard line and you get an interception on a lucky play where, di where Patrick Mahomes did kind of like a jump pass, bounced off the receiver's hands, shot up straight in the air, and you intercepted. You have a golden opportunity being Daniel Jones, to come out and get a drive going and set the momentum for the game. 
But on your first pass attempt of the game, you stare down your receiver the entire play and you throw an interception. These are plays that rookie quarterbacks make these aren't plays that third-year quarterback should make and it seems like Daniel Jones just has a bad case of the turnover bug and I'm not sure he's ever going to shake that I love Daniel Jones his good is good enough that throw on the touchdown to Evan Ingram absolutely beautiful the window he fitted in was about that big but then he makes that throw in the first quarter where he throws the interception absolutely brutal as good is good enough but his bad is bad enough to where he could be a backup in two years in the NFL I believe in him. But speaking of rookies, Joe Judge, I don't care if it's his second year, he looked like a rookie coach tonight. He wasted five timeouts getting his team organized, getting his team set pre-snap, wasted five timeouts, and those timeouts, or the lack of having timeouts and the critical aspects of the game, came back to bite the New York Giants in the ass. It absolutely sucks. And this is the first time I'm going to say it. I think it is time to fire Joe Judge judge and if you're while you're at it leave Jason Garrett in Kansas City because this offense was absolutely brutal 17 points you scored 17 points against the defense the Kansas City Chiefs defense that is giving up 29 points per game this was supposed to be the coming out party for the New York Giants offense but Jason Garrett time and time again called plays not to lose at some point you need to put your trust in Daniel Jones or you will be watching him next year at your couch on NFL Direct TV Sunday ticket because you will not be coaching next year in the NFL Jason Garrett I can guarantee it Jason Garrett he does not make the life for anybody on this Giants offense easier and he makes it much harder for guys like Daniel Jones so leave this bum in Kansas City and let him clap but let me know who do you want fired first? Who upsets you more? There's so many things I could say about both of these guys, but tonight was a prime example as to why the New York Giants lose games, and it's because of these two guys on screen. Joe Judge, he looked like a rookie head coach all night, and Jason Garrett, he looked like he was coaching an offense that is just outdated and not welcome anymore in the NFL. But let me know. Get down in the comments. Who upsets you the most? Type JG, JG for Jason Garrett, or go down and type JJ for Joe Judge. Kadarius Toney, the game breaker. This was his first game back after missing last week and being knocked out of the previous game due to an ankle injury. He had a whopping four receptions for 26 yards. He didn't play a large majority of the snaps. I haven't seen the exact numbers. I would guess anywhere from 60 to 70%. But this is my beef with that. You're telling me with your game plan and your strategy and how many snaps he's getting, he's not healthy. He wasn't out there a lot in the first quarter. He wasn't out there a lot in the second half. But in the second half, you had this man returning kicks and punts. Don't tell me that Kadarius Toney is not healthy enough to be involved in this offense, but you're going to throw him out to the Wolves on special teams and be your punt returner. Absolutely brutal. It's time and time again I just question what's going on in this mental headspace of the Giants coaches, and once again, they let me down. Kadarius Toney was not used enough. He is clearly the best Giants playmaker, and once again, they did not get him involved. Some more bad news for the New York Giants. Sterling Shepard, he left the game in the first half due to a leg injury. There's not been that many updates around it. He kind of just planted into his route, and his right leg kind of just gave out. It didn't look like a knee injury. It looked more like a muscle injury, which is upsetting. Sterling Shepard, once again, has been injury-plagued. But when he plays, he's great. But the most important ability is availability. And right now, and for what, the third season in a row, Sterling Shepard is struggling mightily with that. Just upsetting. But the most upsetting part of it is you lost a football game against the Kansas City Chiefs where Patrick Mahomes had a pedestrian game. 29-48, 275 yards, one touchdown, one interception on the first drive of the game. He threw another interception, but the Giants jumped, jumped off sides. Though Shane Zimenez, you could argue that maybe Patrick Mahomes saw that before the snap. You never know. We'll never know. But it's things like that. Bad teams beat themselves. But look, the Giants' defense, they showed up. I want to give a hats off, round of applause for Patrick Graham. He put out a game plan tonight that, that coaches and other coaches around the league will mimic. They stayed in too high all night. They didn't let this Chiefs offense or these Chiefs game breakers get loose at all. And they had the, the Chiefs, Chiefs offense under wraps. Here are the numbers. 368 total yards, 261 yards through the air, 100 on the ground. That was kind of the Giants game plan. Beat us on the ground and beat us on the ground for four quarters. Forced Patrick Mahomes to take the short gains on offense. 
force him to take the check downs on offense, and he did that for the most part, but it worked in the Giants' favor. If you, just, if you told me just four hours ago that the Giants would give up 20 points to the Kansas City Chiefs and lose, I'd call you a liar, but no. It happened. The Giants gave up 20 points and lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. I can't get over that the Giants scored just 17 freaking points against this Kansas City Chiefs defense. You can't make this shit up, fellas. 17 points against the Kansas City Chiefs defense where DeAndre Baker can't even start on it. Yeah, you remember that guy. Oh, I'm upset. I know you're upset, but I'm curious. What about this team frustrates you the most? You could have a list of 10 things, but I want to know what the one thing is for you. For me, it's coaching. That's where it starts, and that's where it ends. But get in the comments and let me know. What about this team frustrates you the most? With the NFL trade deadline tomorrow, please trade Evan Ingram. Not only can you hopefully recoup an asset, maybe a six-rounder, maybe a fifth-rounder in the 2022 NFL draft, but you also free up salary cap space. Unless you make another trade, I know a lot of you guys commented on, me, commented on the last video where I said that. Put the trade deadlines tomorrow, and I hope the Giants trade Evan Ingram. And if they do, I guarantee you we will be breaking it down within minutes with a free video on New York Giants now. So that's why you subscribe, because we put out content around, around the latest breaking news and rumors. And tomorrow, if news breaks, we'll put out a video, and I promise you, you will not want to miss it. But guys, man, this one sucks. Monday Night Football, you had it in your hands. You had the money, and then... You drop the money, guys. Upsetting. I'm upset. You lose 20 to 17. Giants, they hold the L again like normal. What is this? The sixth loss this year, this season, Harrison? Two and six. I'm upset. Let me scroll through my Twitter timeline to see if Joe Judge is. Yeah, follow me on Twitter. Let me see. I was live tweeting throughout the game. I also want to. Well, last thing before we get out of here. I was live tweeting throughout the game. So next time, next time a Giant Games happens, make sure you follow me on Twitter. But one tweet I want to read out. Remember the third and two play call, the double motion by Kadarius Toney, where they did the fake read option to Elijah Penny, and they did the fullback option. It's absolutely brutal. Seeing Jason Garrett try to be creative hurts. But guys, I was live tweeting throughout the game. I'm a Giants fan. I wear my, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I'm going to cut it to you as real as it gets. So if you want me on your Twitter timeline and my Giants takes, go down and follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description.